Based in Nashville, Tennessee, Scott Fetzer Electrical Group manufactures a wide range of electrical motors and components in a constantly changing production environment. The company is now realizing a vision of having rolling robot colleagues help increase productivity and improve worker safety. When I was brought into SFEG early last year, my goal or my task was to find ways to automate our factory, ways to make us more competitive on the global scale, ways to make it more advantage of the machinery that we had. One of our biggest challenges is we're a high mix, low volume producer. For most of our lines, they don't run every day. So trying to find a way to put robots on the lines in the traditional sense was a very big challenge. So we came up with the idea to do some sort of mobile force, but the challenge is how do you do that with all the safety enclosures? You know, I came across this idea of a collaborative robot, you know, something that could work with humans that, that you didn't have to be afraid of being around. When our workers come in in the morning, their task is no longer to go do some monotonous task. It's to go take their robot and deploy it to whatever job it needs to do that day. And that robot's going to move all around our sheet metal department while it does that. The only way we were ever going to accomplish that was with a collaborative robot. When we looked in the marketplace, we only saw a couple of offerings. And to be honest, the UR was the only robot that we saw that we thought could do the job. It's got the, the speed and precision of a standard industrial robot with the, the ability to work around it with humans. We're trying to look for tasks that are either very monotonous, um, that are labor intensive or potentially hazardous to do. And one of the tasks that we've automated is epoxy filling circuit boards for part of our transformer line. So that robot is actually part of our mobile fleet. So at the end of the day, we move it out. And then first thing in the morning, when we set the epoxy machine back up, we move the robot back in, drop a couple of pins in the floor and off to work it goes again with no more intervention from the humans. What we've seen with implementing the universal robots is about a 20% increase in productivity on the lines which we put in the robots as a result of having a pace setter with the universal robots working hand in hand with our people. We've seen the ability to get much more competitive when we go out and look for new business and we can compete with anybody. Uh, we're bringing back business that used to be in China or that we used to source in China. We've been able to reallocate some of our employees to other areas where we've seen growth in our business. We're seeing about a one-to-one -one, um, movement of people from where we put in a robot to allow us to move one person to another area of the business. When the robots first came out on the floor, uh, employees were very anxious and a little nervous about it. But now that they're out there on the floor, they act like they can't live without them. They are constantly asking, can we put a robot in this position? Could we maybe put a robot in this position? You know, there, there's a lot of people who are trying to figure out where we can put our next robot to help our process. We have Thelma and Louise who were, um, at first everyone was scared of Thelma and Louise, but she's actually a part of the family on the floor now. That's, that's how they got their name. We were expecting it to go off the cliff and she saved us, both of them actually. The process uh, of the robots were actually a lot simpler than I, I had expected them to be. If you can work a smartphone, <laughs> you can pretty much work these robots. It was really easy to learn and it went much smoother than, than I anticipated. I was a little antsy using the new technology with the collaborative, and, but it, it was really easy to use. I would say it took a third to half of the implementation time out of it based on previous experiences I've had. You can actually read through Modbus, TCP connections, robot status. Uh, we can pass information using the Ethernet socket connection to, to other software packages to collect data. It opens up a lot of doors to do a lot of things that, that we're just now beginning to, to look at. We've got two robots working with humans. Uh, the first robot's actually cutting wires off of the motor field. That's a potential carpal tunnel syndrome application. Um, I mean, you're cutting about 16,000 wires a day by hand. Um, and so we thought that was a great place to put a robot, you know, let them potentially get carpal tunnel. And what really made this cell happen was the collaborative nature of the robots. Some of the future applications we have is we're looking at everything that we're designing now new and making sure that we can assemble it with a robot. So we're looking at all of our design work and saying if we can't put that together with a robot, we've got to go back to the drawing board and try again.